Hi guys, this is Leo CEO, uh, CEO and founder of Leo Lee Educations. Welcome to another podcast with me. And in today's podcast, I have here with me one of our students from our program, Mr. Asif. And uh, Asif has done us proud and he has landed a very good professional job in Launceston, Tasmania. So the reason why I bring him in today, so hopefully uh, he can inspire you guys how you too can land your professional job if you have the right mentorship and the right support. So for those who do not know about you, Asif, can you just quickly introduce yourself? Like, who are you? Uh, what have you studied? And where do you live at the moment? Yeah, thank you, Leo, for giving me the opportunity to speak my experience. So my name is Asif. I'm a graduate from University of Tasmania. I just graduated last year in August. Mm -hmm. And I was like looking for IT job and just like uh, two weeks or three weeks ago, I got my IT job. Fantastic. So let's walk us back a little bit, Asif. So when you first came to Tasmania, when, do you still remember when you first came here? Uh, yes, like I came during like the COVID time in 2020. Like I didn't wow. even get to experience uni life as well. I just came three weeks of uni face to face and then the online everything shut down and become online so didn't even get to experience uni life as well in utah wow so it was it was a very tough time then when you came yeah there. like i couldn't i was like lucky to even make some friends like one or two or three friends <laughs> yeah okay okay so obviously things was things were not easy for you and when you first came here when did you start to realize that it was not easy to file a professional job when does that hit you? I mean, uh, the, I started to look for professional job in my last year. I did manage to get two interviews, but I were not successful in those interviews. And other than that, like after I graduated, I have been looking for IT support, like IT jobs and everything for almost like six months. Wow. And then I couldn't find any. Yeah. And then... Leo did reach me out to give his support. Got you. I guess you've been applying for many, many jobs. So how many jobs do you think you have tried to apply so far in your field? I think more, more than 50 or 100 at least. Like okay. everything just apply online. I, I lost count. I To be honest, I lost count. I just apply hoping to get an interview get a chance yeah. i got you so so it must be frustrating because you apply for many jobs 100 jobs and still you hardly get any you know positive result from the employer how, how does that make you feel when you keep hearing no and no from like i i felt depressed like i didn't feel well because of that i even like took one or two months from applying jobs like i just didn't want to apply anymore i was so depressed i was feeling so down that i give up applying as well and i guess that's when it really it's really changed everything for you when you start to see us and you start to join us so t tell everyone how 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 did you get to know about us i mean obviously i reached out to you but how how did you decide to join our program so the thing happened was like uh leo just suddenly messaged me on linkedin saying hey asif have you got a job if you need help i can help you and then he had his meetup and then he said, you can come to my meetup today. I'm in Hobart. So I just go meet him and then had his speech and everything to see if I am able to do it. So I give yes. more two or three months more before I joined Leo. And in those two, three months, I realized like I needed someone's help. And I felt like Leo would be that guy to help me in mm. my job journey. Got so you. this is why I joined Leo. How do you feel about support throughout the program? I mean, yeah, like you, you were useful, like you did give me support, but like you, uh, most of the thing is on me as well. Like I have to do it myself. You exactly. can help me. I don't think you can always stay behind me as well all the time. So mm. it also is on me. Like, it's not like I can Absolutely. just give everything on Leo to like find me a job. Absolutely. And that is the yeah. important point, guys, for the viewers watching this it is very important point that that Asif just raised because it is you, you guys need to also put in the effort. It's not just us doing all the work because yeah. at the end of the day, Asif will be the one who's working, not yeah. me, my team. So if he doesn't put in the work, then obviously 
it was not going to happen. So that, that that's why it's important that is 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 like a team team sport. We put we do our part. He do his part, and eventually he succeed because of that. So yeah. now talking about the program itself, as if I guess you must have learned a lot from our program, and yes. there's so many takeaways for you. But if we can summarize them into three biggest, like really good takeaway that you got from our program what would those three takeaways are a uh, fast one is the cold call that would i say like that was the thing that helped me to get my job explain elaborate how how important is the cold call and uh i feel like the cold call uh is really important because like you have to call someone and to like speak with them even though they the person might not want to speak with you I still have to force them to talk with me so that they would listen to me and give me a chance for an interview. This is really uh, like a useful technique, but like it's hard as well. Like if you're not used to talking with people, it's going to be a bit difficult, which was difficult for me as well. Mm. Uh, but thanks to Leo, I was able to do it to the cold call. Yeah. And, and 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 does that also make you feel more confident in yourself? as well as you've been able to express yourself over the phone uh, yes uh yeah i have been more confident than before like i try my best to talk to more like i wasn't able to do it before but now after joining leo's coaching i've been able to do it mm, absolutely and do you think this This is also something that you can use in your work as well. The ability to communicate with people over the phone and even in person. Like, do you think that would help you even in your workplace that that you are doing? Uh, yes, home? like if you like uh, IT support, obviously those communication skills will help you. Like you would uh, be a bit more confident when you're giving IT support over the phone when talking mm. with people and everything. Yeah, this would be useful for that. Yeah, got you. So, so number one is cold call. Like what what are the two things? What are the two 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 things that you learn as well? On top uh, then second would be like LinkedIn messaging. Like mm. message people on LinkedIn to meet up with them. Why, you, why is it important to you? So the LinkedIn message is like I would go and search up companies uh, and the people that work in that specific company and message them. Yes, and and how useful was our template when we provide you with a template to to message them? Was that helpful to have some template to work on? Yes, the LinkedIn template was really useful because like usually like I'm lost when I'm writing a message to someone in LinkedIn, like what should I say? Mm, like, it's mm. really like confusing because I'm not used to messaging people on LinkedIn. Like it's not same as Facebook messaging. Mm. Facebook is more casual, but like LinkedIn is more serious. <laughs> Of so course. If I if I make a mistake, they might not even accept me or something. Wow! Wow! Got you. So obviously, the template was useful, and also every time I remember, every time when you sending something to the employers, you always double check with me. Yes. How important it is that I always get back to you and say, "Hey, this how," and I fix it up for you. Is that important? Yeah. To yes, it support? is important because like. I need to be sure because it, this is the, my first impression. Like by LinkedIn is also a first impression. Like that person doesn't know me. So whatever mm. I write to him is really important. Like my writing would be the first thing he's seeing. So mm. if I have like bad grammar or like bad sentence that doesn't make any sense, it would leave a really bad impression on him. Like this guy doesn't even know how to talk or something. <laughs> Absolutely. I remember it's some, you sent me so many messages and every time and 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 i know it's important to you that's why i'm like okay i have to fix for this guy yeah. and i'm glad that it works out very well so you start to get more response than before than ever because yeah. i think you told me before that no, nobody hardly replied to your linkedin but then because of the template you start to get yeah. a lot more response right yes like because oh. like uh, i didn't like didn't really use linkedin that much like before i joined your program i didn't like think about using linkedin that way it's a game changer for you there right yes. when you when you when you see linkedin in a from a different different perspective and that, that yeah. really helps so coco linkedin what else have you learned from our program other than those two uh giving gifts to the employer walk us through that what, what, how important it is to actually give them something nice uh for during your first time general thing would be useful in australia as well <laughs> until leo told me like you should give this <laughs> yeah okay sure and and how 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 does the employer respond to that when you when you give them something something nice 
I days. mean, they they always feel happy to receive gifts. It gives them a uh, joy or a happy smile in their face. Yeah, and and yeah. it also changes the dynamics of the the meeting. They suddenly become more friendly to you. They they yes, kind of have like, a different attitude. For those who's watching this, yeah, uh, do not uh, misunderstand. We're not bribing them or anything like that. Okay, I see they yeah. not bribe them. They didn't give yeah. them a cash of one million dollars. It's nothing like that. It's just some basic gift. Tell, tell them what are some of the gift ideas that you give to them. What 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 do you give so, to them? So the basic thing I would usually do is like buy a thank you gift card, which you can buy from a reject store as well. It's for two dollar only. Exactly. Really? Yeah. Like so it's things. nothing too expensive. It's really about this gesture, right? It's the, yeah. The way you do it. Very good. Very good. So and obviously that that's a game changer for you. Now talking about that, how how important it is about your, your interview preparation, Asif, because we prepare you very hard for your interview. Was that useful, the way we prepare you? We prep uh, you yes, up. it was useful. Like I didn't know what I was lacking in my interviews. Mm. So the, uh, this is why I feel like the interview preparation was good as well, because mm. you would guide me like what I was saying wrong or like what I should write more or speak more. Mm. In Obviously, question. yes. And, yeah. and also, we ask you to prepare your answers for those questions that could potentially be asked by the employer. And and how useful that, that you actually prepare those answers so that before you go into the interview, was that helpful to have those answers ready before you go into the interview? Uh, yes, obviously, having the answer prepared is useful because like you have to think less. In the interview, mm -hmm. we really don't have enough time to think. Like They would ask you a question and you have to speak within a few seconds if you like late for answering obviously they would think like you are not ready for the interview or something absolutely yep. so having the answers prepared helps you to give an idea even if the question is not same the question will be similar mm -hmm. obviously absolutely and that really like you said earlier it gives you more time to express yourself and less time to have to think yeah. because under a very uh, stressful situation especially during an interview if mm -hmm. you have to think so much, you won't be able to perform. And that's, I think, that was what was the yeah. mistake you made before this program is that you have to be improvising all the yeah. time, impromptu all the time. So Yeah, and yeah. then there were like some questions that I thought I should say the answer, but then these answers aren't correct because when I talk with Leo, those answers, he told me like, you shouldn't say this thing or you shouldn't say this, that. So, hmm. yeah, because like the interviewer obviously not going to give you feedback on your interview as well. Like you, you said wrong in this question. So this is why you failed the interview. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Now, probably the last two questions here, um, as if is also along the line with the interview is how about the elevator pitch? Because that is also very important. Oh, you yes. Prep, the... prep you up for your pitch. How important is it that, that you know how to pitch yourself when you talk to the employer? Oh, yes. So obviously the elevator pitch is really important. Like if you don't know what to say about yourself, obviously it's going to make a bad impression. And mm. so having that ready helps you as well a lot. Like you don't have to think like what you should tell the person or what you shouldn't mm. tell the person. It's mm -hmm. like a quick quick summary of yourself. Exactly. And the pitch we prepped for you, that, that was really useful. Yes. And you, you can confidently sell yourself really it's about selling yourself isn't it yes selling yourself to the yep. employer yeah for those who are curious as if can you tell them how did you get this role what did you do right to to get this position so do they have an idea and so, what techniques did you use from our program to get that so first of all obviously we would look for jobs like mm. online jobs and offline jobs i tried both of them but the the one that i got finally was an online job that was advertised for a senior role for mm. IT support. And mm. then we call that company to do a call call. Obviously, we call the phone number and we got a chance to talk with a hiring person for that company. Mm. And I did a call call to him and then tell him the elevator speech. And then he said, oh, yes, we might be hiring someone like within the three months or four months. So, yeah. Then he was interested in me. And then I went to meet with him. And mm. obviously... The meetup was really good. And then I did the interview and everything. There's a lot of little little things that has helped us. Here. A lot of small little things. But if we put these small little things together, it will it will equivalent to a lot. And that's what it done for 
for us. So, so you yeah. got an interview. He was happy with your interview, and then what happened next? And then later on, like because he was impressed by me in the interview, so hmm. suddenly an opening opened in his company. Like a uh, some employee left, and he wow. wanted someone to work with him. So wow. he just called me up and said, "Hey, as if I have a opening right now, will you be willing to work a IT full time job, hmm. IT mm-hmm. support full time job?" So I just say yes, I want to work, and then that wow. is how I joined the company for now. Right, great. And how many days now have you been with them so far? How many days now? Uh, I worked with them for three days for now. Like I worked three days. I just recently started working last week. Nice. And, and how Once was the uh, environment? Were they very supportive? Was they helpful to you? Was they nice? Were they- yeah, training. they are nice as well because uh, one, the boss is giving me training and everything. I work directly with the director. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want a lot for you, man. That's awesome. <laughs> I try my best to keep up with him as Very well. Good. Now that you are having a, a, a professional job now in, in Tasmania, how does it make you feel that finally you get to work in your field? Do you feel happier? You feel proud? You feel good about yourself? Yeah, I feel happier than before, obviously. Like, uh, not having a job and always hunting for a job was like a headache to me and I was feeling down as well like if I didn't get that job I might have been a bit more depressed than now right now yes and because uh, as you know a lot of your fellow friends from Utah most of the time they work as Uber driver Uli's co so that's what they usually do so for them for those people who are watching this right now and they are thinking to to join our program. Yeah. What would you say? Do you think they should join our program? They should invest in our program? When I meet and talk with him, I obviously understood like he is a reliable person and he have the skills that I need in order to get a job. So I did believe in Leo. Mm-hmm. I do really recommend Leo. Like I really wanted a job and I really needed Leo's help like until I get a job. So I just took the time on package. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 do you think that was a, a very good investment for yourself in your career? Uh, yes. Like, I feel like when I put the money, it made me more motivated. Like, I have to work more harder now that I have really invested some money in this program. Like, I, if I don't work, my money is wasted. Like, yes. I can't really give up on myself. Like, I have to keep on trying and trying until I get a job. Exactly. So, that I like that what you just said. Asif, that, and that's what... That's what happens to people who really invested in themselves. They are, they're willing to pay for, for certain things. And as compared to those who only want free stuff, when, when, yeah. when it is free, what happens is you guys are not committed. You guys are not all in. And, and that's when you usually back out. But for you, because you are, have invested so much in us, yeah. you're like, I, we ha- I have to get something out of it. Yeah. And, and eventually you did. So, so I'm very glad, Asif. I'm really glad to see your success and I hope you will continue to grow from here because I know yeah. this is just the beginning. We both know that getting a job in Tasmania is probably one of the most difficult things. Yeah, I know. This is, why, this is why I took the diamond package as well. Because <laughs> when you met me, you, you said you, you want our help all the way till you got a job. So I'm like, okay, then diamond is best for you. And yeah. I think it is. It's really good investment yeah. for yourself. My, my last question is this. Um, so obviously, did you work any odd jobs before at all? Like I did work in farms. Like I used to work like oh, yeah, 8, a, yeah, yeah. 8 a.m. to like 5 p.m. or something like that. How how long how long were you working in the, the farm job? I mean, uh, after I graduated. How was that experience like for you? Obviously, at first you get some money, but but did yeah. you feel... How do you feel when you when you were working in those jobs? Was it hard on your body? It's, it's really hard. Like... Uh, it's like physically demanding as well. Like I didn't have enough energy after I finished the work, obviously. So the thing was like, I thought I can always apply for a job after I finish my work. But uh, after I come back home, obviously I had no energy to apply for any job. Like I would just see, they told me to write a cover letter or a resume. I'm like, okay, done. I'm done. I don't want to apply anymore. Just one. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it's, it's for short term is good, but for long term... Yeah. It's, yeah. it's not how it should and be. then I always felt in my mind like this job isn't for me, obviously, because I didn't come to Australia to do this kind of job. I have my degree. I have to get my own field, like IT job. That's my passion. That's what mm. I want to do. Mm. So obviously this job wasn't like, I wasn't happy with the job. I just wake up feeling sad, like when can I just 
get out wow. of this work or something. Got you. And, and I remember you you actually only started to to be serious with us uh, towards the end of February. So it's only about nearly three months. And and yeah. three months is a very short time if you put them into a long perspective um, of you, you want to work in your dream job for years and years. It's really yeah. a very short time, I see. I hope yeah. you know that. Okay, this is, is really not the average time it takes for Australian people to get a good professional job is seven months. I'm not sure if you know this. That is, I don't know. <laughs> very, very good. So, well, thank yeah. you so much for your time, Asif, and I, I hope you keep keep trying your best. Keep uh, and please tell your friends about us, Asif, so we can help more students as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I'm very happy for you because, of course, you have seen our success. We have helped so many students, but the yeah. fact that you have a job in Tasmania, like. One of the worst places to get a job in the country. I mean, uh, Tasmania for IT job is like really bad. Like, Man. the job market is really hard. And you got it. Right? Uh, yeah. Now, last last thing I see for those who are the, maybe the misunderstanding that they think you got this job because you have a lot of experience and you are yeah. a PR. You are you are not right. Can you just tell them? I mean, I don't have any PR. I'm still an international student. Like, I just recently got my graduate visa so i'm on my four at five visa and, and you don't have like four or five years of experience local experience. i mean uh the experience i did have uh, inter uh, internship experience but there were three months exactly exactly so guys for the record he doesn't have years of experience he doesn't have his pr but despite all that with the right mentorship and the right support he was yeah. able to land this beautiful role with a beautiful company. So now he can probably tell his family. Have you tell your family that you? <laughs> yes, got I a have. Job? Tell them. Yeah, they're happy for me that I got a job. <laughs> <laughs> you should tell my name to Asif. Eh? Yeah. Don't forget my name. They already know you. <laughs> they already know. <laughs> good, good, good. I'm happy. I'm happy. Uh, you, you are where you are. No worries. Thank you so much for coming in, uh, yeah. Asif. We'll, we'll talk soon. Bye for yeah. now.